Welcome back to the Paranormal Times, my friends. Today we're discussing the mysterious and haunted history of Gaineswood Mansion in the picturesque town of Demopolis, Alabama. Gaineswood was originally constructed between 1843 and 1861, and it's not just a mansion. It's a piece of living history. It was designed by General Nathan Brian Whitfield and architect Samuel Sloan, and this marvel is kind of a blend of, not kind of, it is a blend of Greek revival and Italianate styles. So it's really grand. It's really beautiful. Go look up some pictures. Um, but behind the opulence lies a tapestry woven with tales of sorrow and tragedy. Uh, over the years, Gaineswood has gained a reputation uh, as being one of the most haunted places in Alabama. Legend has it that the halls of Gaineswood are haunted by spirits of the past that manifest in uh, sightings of the lady in white, mysterious footsteps echoing down the halls, inexplicable cold spots, and even objects moving on their own. One of those objects is said to be a piano. Uh, after dying one winter, a nanny for the children of the Gaineswood mansion was buried on property and later exhumed and moved to her home state. But it is said that her spirit remains. Playing the piano is one of the things that she and the children would do together. Um, so visitors and paranormal investigators alike have been drawn to the Gaineswood, seeking to capture evidence of the supernatural. They've even brought in psychics and mediums in hopes of communicating with the spirits that are believed to linger behind the walls. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, one thing is for certain, Gaineswood's haunted legacy adds an extra layer of intrigue to its already compelling history. Check it out online. If you're in the area, go and visit. Um, and please check us out uh, for our next video coming up tomorrow. Take care.